Hey guys, this is the video for Wednesday, March 15th, the Ides of March. We're looking at a gold chart, uh, April gold. You can see we've had a rally the last few days because of uh, the um, banking meltdown that's currently taking place. Anyhow, what I want to show today is how you can use uh, geometric shapes, either 2D or 3D, and use those formulas to take uh, price or time and make projections with. In this particular case, I'm going to use the volume of the sphere. So I'm going to use the 3D uh, shape of the sphere where the 2D circle in 3D is spherical. So I'm going to take the volume of the sphere calculation, which is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. So in this case, I'm going to take this swing up to this high here from uh, last February. I'm going to use this price range of 201.3 marked in the box on the left here. So that's the price range of that last swing up to the high. So when I plug that in and run it through the calculator, it gives me an end result of uh, 29.22. So I'm going to float the decimal for the price range projection, I'm going to make that 292.2 because 29.22 is too far away. So when I measure down off that high, coming down 292 points to the blue horizontal line here, you can see that gives me this uh, swing low. So it gives me that significant swing low where we got that uh, bounce back up, that corrective move from May 16th up to uh, June 13th, so we had about a month on that correction off of that price projection where it bounced off of there. And then it broke, and then it became an area of resistance here in August, and then uh, it became the lid on the top of this consolidation area before it finally gapped through and broke in this, in this uh, past January. And then for time, what I'm going to do is take the... Uh, 29.22, I'm going to float the decimal again and make that 29.22 days. So measuring off of this high, I made four projections of 29 uh, days. The first projection gives me this swing low here. I add another 29 days to there. It gives me the swing high right here. Using the arrows to mark these out, the next 29 days gives me another swing high right here and then the fourth projection I made gives me the swing high here right before that sharp move down. So anyhow, uh, that's just another example. So what I've been trying to show here with this and the force calculation from a few days back, I'm showing you how to make uh, simple reliable projections where you're incorporating some science and math or geometry or trig into some simple formulas that allow you to make really nice projections. Now this isn't as nice as some of the Plato stuff or Hidden Phi or the Bayer material that I'm working on, but this is still pretty good stuff that I'm handing out and giving you guys something you can use.